What's going on guys, it's your friendly neighborhood Dinosaurs here and today I wanted to take a quick moment to just talk about what comic books mean to me and why I think they're important for a lot of people. So let me take you back in time about uh, five, six years ago now, I don't remember exactly. I was a little guy, little little tyke over in ninth grade um, and I started getting into uh, videos online where people were picking up comic books and I, this is my first experience seeing comic books like really and it made me want to go read comic books and so I started looking for comic book stores found one went to one didn't like the people there I didn't think they were um, super friendly and so I went to a new comic book store I went there and the people were more friendly but I didn't like them as much as I liked the people that I've been going to uh, for years now and the people that to this day have given me opportunities so I found Flashback Comics, uh, 2012 maybe, I don't remember, and that place really gave me uh, a lot. You like, There were times when me and my friends would skip school and drive to the comic book store and they would give us a little bit of work because we were only in you know early 10th grade, we couldn't get jobs even if we wanted to yet, and they allowed us to... Uh, bag and board comics for them and in exchange have a little bit of store credit and we'd go out We'd go there after school Sometimes we'd skip school without them knowing and we'd go there and do this do the stuff and we'd go to different comic book stores and Find their stuff and bring it back to flashback and sell it to them And they just gave us like this really cool place that kept us away from doing shitty things like kept us away from doing drugs kept us away from um, Just doing like a whole bunch of stupid shit that like other kids our age might have been doing at the time and so I think comic book stores can be that sort of outlet for a lot of people. And it, it creates a, a, an environment that allows people to see these characters that are like symbols and meant to, to make you think about like how to be a better person. So like for one of my favorite examples is something that the, the guy at Flashback always told me was that Peter Parker, Spider-Man, even when it's dark, and he's alone in his room under the covers and no one's there to know that he's doing something, he does the right thing. By himself, in the dark, when no one can see him, Spider-Man does the right thing. Batman does not kill people, no matter what, even though you could say like he's inadvertently killing people by not killing the Joker because the Joker kills so many people because he just gets out of jail over and over and over again. So these characters gave me ideals they gave me things to strive for in a way that I didn't have before you know what I mean like I didn't have my dad to come over and tell me like hey son you know be a good person like this that, and the other so these characters in a way taught me how to be like a good person and so I think they're really good for a lot of people to to have that and comic book stores in and of themselves are a really nice community everyone there is sort of like an outcast automatically because no one reads comics anymore like they're just it's honestly a dying industry and that's why I try to use this channel in some way. Obviously, like, there's no one watching this channel, but, like, I try to use this channel in some way to bring people to start reading comics and show them that they are interesting and there's really cool, interesting stories to be had that just a lot of people completely overlook. Like, there's a reason why these stories get turned into movies that make billions of dollars, you know? They're taking from these stories that we read. And you can go in there and you can find single issues. If you want to read the books monthly or bi-weekly, you can do that. If you want to read the stories every six months when they come out in trade paperback form, you can do that. And if you don't want to do that, you can go back and read stories that have been around for years and years and years. There's just tons of cool stories and, and things that you can learn from these characters that you might not be able to learn somewhere else. And maybe this would be your preferred way to learn it. <sighs> I don't know. Overall, I just think that comic book stores and, and comic books in general are a really cool place for a lot of people and I wish more people would get into it and, and actually give it a real honest shot because I feel like there's just still a stigma against actually going to a comic book store um, and just giving it an honest shot and like actually reading something and going in there weekly. Like there's something to be said for being excited to go to the comic book store on Wednesday and getting your new comic books. Like there's something to be said for all of that and I don't think that uh, people take advantage of that. I don't think that people take advantage of, of that situation that all of us have the opportunity to use. Like there are 
four or five comic book stores in my area, like within the Tri-City area or whatever, the Tri-County area, like there are three comic book stores within 15 miles of me. So if you go online and you look up comic book stores around you, you can probably find one and you'll find people around there at that comic book store. You can like be sitting there flipping through a comic and then this guy walks up to you, picks up the same comic book, you start up a conversation, now you got yourself a new friend and you wouldn't get that otherwise. You know, it's just, it's a really nice place where you can cultivate new friendships and interesting things. Like uh, another thing about flashback is like those people are the first people that hired me to do video work. And that's the honest truth, you know, like I, it's like they gave me a chance to do something when like I like they didn't have to, you know, and still to this day, I make videos for them. So I don't know, like I'm not saying that every comic book store is going to be that for you. Like maybe they don't give you an opportunity to make YouTube videos for them. But but this store did. And, and I think for, you know, for that, I'm really thankful. And, and I think that that can be a thing for a lot of other people that a lot of people can get that sense of community and that sense of friendship and that sense of, of, uh, I don't know. They gave me a sense of responsibility, a self, a sense of self-worth in some way, giving me like the outlet to make videos for them. I don't know. I think it's a really important thing. If you guys like comic book movies, if you guys like comic book video games, if you, if you guys like the, any of that shit, you guys should go to a comic book store and you should go walk in there and, and find something that you want to read because it's important that we support the, the the creators that are making this stuff and then bring it eventually into movies because right now that's not that's not happening as much and and comic book sales especially for marvel right now are just fucking low so if you guys are ever interested in comic books fucking go to a comic book store pick something up and if you're not going to go into a comic book store at least go to comiXology and, and support comic books that way but Next week, we'll be going back to the regularly scheduled programs with me and my friend over there, you know, sitting on those chairs, talking about stuff, pretending like we're not being filmed. Uh, this week was just a little bit of a weird week where we didn't have the ability to do stuff. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I believe we're going to be talking about Titans, number 11, the first issue of the Judas Contract. And then we're also going to be talking about uh, movie video games or video game movies. So that should be interesting. Hopefully you guys are excited. And if you're not... Go fuck yourself. <laughs>